Not or shake reviews. Willie not or Willie shake. Yeah. Hi, Johnny here with Jim Bobby. Welcome to another thing of not or shake reviews. Not if it's good. Shake if it's not so good. Either way, you should check it out because you might find your new favorite movie. We got a lot of reviews this week, so check them out. Uh, we did the bad guys, and uh, Jim Bobby missed out on the Northman. Big time. I love how it's I missed out. You missed out. I love how that happens. You missed out. You got the bad movie. And maybe movies, depending on what the review is. Let's find out. The unbearable weight of massive talent. Man, you had to think about that one. I'm going to give it one hesitant, very reluctant nod. Only because... What the fuck did I just watch, bro? Shh, the doors are open. We're in a parking lot because it's a million degrees. I have no idea what I just watched. Let's be honest. There was a million ways you could have done this movie a hell of a lot better. And I don't know, bro. So... And I'm a fan of Nicolas Cage. I think he could do anything except apparently play himself. So I, I give it a nod because I really like what they were saying about movies. It was very meta which I thought was pretty cool. And again, they, they had a very overall cool message about movies. There's, stop yelling! There's one part where they they talked about like what your favorite movie is, and they had this whole thing that was really nice. Also, Pedro Pascal stole the shit out of this movie. Yeah, he, he did. He was amazing. He was, I, honestly- I'd rather have watched- The sad part of it is- Him. Yeah. The sa Nick Cage. The sad part of it is, is there wasn't enough of him. Yes, so the reason why I give it a, a, a reluctant is because I think the internet killed the Nick Cage thing. I'm a fan of Nick Cage, but like, you know, all the memes and the videos, th this movie did a lot of like the everything that you see on the internet. And I was like- Is that true? What do you mean? I'm not on the internet. Anymore. Yeah, there's like a lot of Nick Cage stuff on the internet. And like to me, by the time I saw this movie, I was just kind of exhausted. Like they did the Nick Cage freak out. I was like, I've seen this a million times. What was the Nick Cage freak out? You know, Nick Cage! I mean, they had that show on Netflix where the, 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 the art of swearing or whatever, and the host was Nick Cage and everybody lost their minds because it was Nick Cage. So by the time this came out, for me, it was just the, the whole shtick was kind of exhausted to me and that was a big part of it um the other big beef i had was there it is the other big beef i had was um bruce campbell did this uh, my name is bruce it basically beat for beat kind of uh it was, it was just a more of a horror setting which is, i kind of feel bad because now that's going to be when that gets noticed people are like, that ripped this off so wait my name is Bruce. My name is Bruce. It's basically the same thing. It's an actor who plays himself. Is going to be playing. Thinks he's going to be in a movie. And then it turns out he has to kill a, a movie. A horror. A real monster. And then it turns out that whole is thing is a movie. My name out? is Bruce. Yeah, it's it's out on DVD. Never hit theaters. Because he's a B-movie actor. I he mean, needs to be appreciated more. And he wrote a book. Make several, Love for Bruce Campbell, Campbell several, way. Kind of like the same thing. Several books. So, you know. I, you know this is going to, of course, overshadow that, I feel like. And that, I think, is a it bit of a It seems as if I picked the wrong movies to see this weekend. You did, very much so. So what, did you say all your thoughts? I don't want to... I have no thoughts. I have zero thought about this movie. Yeah? I walked out and I'm, I, I don't... Johnny, like, hyped up the Northmen so much that I was like, that was wow. That thing. Maybe I, I should have seen this first before the Northmen. Maybe you should have just the not Northmen. have told me anything about it. The North guy. Because now, the entire movie, I'm thinking, wow, I could have... Could have been at the Northman. Could have been at could the be, Northman. Could be watching the Northman right now. So, I have a question. I asked this uh, at the theater, and I'm asking all of you, subscribers. What is a movie you would like to see? What actor would you like to see in this type of movie? So, basically, very meta about a guy and his whole career. I have two. Jim Bobby, do you have any? Let me hear your two. Liam Neeson and Keanu Reeves. I feel like would make a very good, especially. I feel like Keanu Reeves has already done that. I know. Like that's why I say, especially Liam Neeson, because he's such a dramatic actor. And now that he's doing all these basically taken 500, you can really make a joke out of that. And the fact just to see a serious actor really kind of chill out and let himself go, I think could really be a, a funny thing to see. So Liam Neeson, if you're listening, I got you. 
He's not listening. He ain't listening. No. We're actually seeing a movie of his next week. What say you, Jim Babe? Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood's a very, he was another one I think would be really funny to see. Clint Eastwood has had a very long and fruitful yep. career. Yeah. Playing in some of the greatest movies of all time, mm -hmm. and also some of the worst, or yes. what people call the worst. Yes. And then Every he's also the directed yep. a ton of yeah. movies. I think that could be a really fun idea. And plus, he's so like old and grumpy now. Yeah. You put him in a movie like that today. I think it's yeah, really entertaining. That could be real entertainment. Yeah. Whereas this. <laughs> Uh, so what say you, YouTube Universe? What actor would you like to see in this type, type, type of scenario? Alrighty, that's the review. Uh, maybe thanks. Hollywood should get a new idea or two. <laughs> Alrighty, thanks for cringing. See you next week for Memory. Alrighty. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Thanks for cringing.